Well, uh, my name is Luis Garcia. Uh, I'm a certified strength and conditioning specialist and a sports medicine athletic trainer. So I basically do strength and conditioning and I also use my sports medicine background to supplement that training as well. Uh, I mean, during this pre-draft, man, we have a lot of fun. We have a lot of guys come through here. Any one of these pre-draft workouts we could have from six to eight guys that are getting ready to go to the league, you know, and some of those guys could be top lottery picks or guys that aren't really sure if they're going to make it or not. So my job is to help those guys be in the best position or let them put themselves in the best position to be where they want to be. Uh, the amount of work these guys put in is very underrated, all right? Uh, these guys work very hard. They put a lot of stress on their bodies, on their minds, and they've been doing it for a long time. So that's really what motivates me too, is trying to help these guys get to their goals and uh, what they've been working for, man, for a long time. Um, with James, what I've really seen is uh, his work ethic has been next level. I mean, and again, anybody that you see that wants to get to where he wants to be needs to have that different work ethic. He's very hungry, he's very humble, he's here just to work. Like I said, even right now with the cameras coming in, he shows up, he says, man, it's just work. He wanted to get the extra reps. He didn't want to do one or two reps. He wanted to get those three or four reps because he knows every single workout counts. And that's the kind of energy and the kind of mind frame you're going to get from JB on every single day. Landing on two, jumping forward, landing on one. So from here, here, jump forward, three second balance. JB, there you go. Pop it. Land one, two. Three. He's very competitive. His competitiveness motivates him a lot. When he has other athletes around him, you really see that line come out of him. And something that I always tell these guys, I use this little phrase called, uh, it's, not a, it's not about who ends up in first place, but if it was me, I'd be in first place. Right? It ain't a competition, but I like to compete. Uh, and I think he lives by that too. Whenever there's other guys out here, he's always looking to make sure he's first place, even if it, even if it doesn't matter, even if it's not even, even about that. Uh, with him, it's just about continuing to work on the mental aspect too. Everybody wants to focus on the physical, 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 but without the mind, your body isn't going to follow anywhere. So we're doing a good job. We're just going to keep working on the things we've been doing and just taking it day by day, man. Two months out from the draft. Uh, this, this is really like a regular Wednesday for me. Uh, getting up early, coming out to the beach or the pool, uh, getting some extra work in that's not on court or in the weight room with Andy. And this is just like the grind. This is this is what you gotta do if you wanna be that high level player, that, that next player that makes an impact in the league. And uh, I'm willing to do that and I'm ready to put this work in. This is fun for me, waking up early and getting this work in. It, this is fun to me. Like this is this is like a job now. You gotta really look at it that way. Yeah. And I know I know what the, the goals I have for myself. Uh, this this is the kind of stuff I gotta do. Uh, I heard they checking for me. No one checking on me, so I had to go run up a check. I got the message on me. Ain't no flexing on me. My attorney gon' call and collect. Blessings on blessings for me. My success has only made them envious. They got upset. Ronnie Taylor, owner of Taylor Sports Group, NBA skills coach, Miami, Florida. I'm super passionate about what I do, you know, and I think that's kind of where we connected at um, because he's passionate about his game. I'm passionate, built upon that relationship, but I think it first started just because of our mutual love for the game and passion. I met him April 1st, 2016 to be exact through his mentor, Kashawn Hicks Sr. He just called me and said, hey, it's a kid I've known for about the last two years. I want you to take a look at him, put him through a workout. Let me know what you think. After the workout, I thought this kid was pretty raw, but he had some decent size. He had some talent, he had some touch. And I thought if he keeps working at it, he could end up a pretty good basketball player in the long run. I think James need to be in this conversation for like up there, like lottery for sure. Um, I just think he's one of the best candidates out there, to be honest with you. You know, when you look at everything, you look at the Jalen Greens, you know, you look at the Suggs and everything. I think, you know, James' name doesn't get, a, get mentioned enough with those type of guys, you know. He's a heck of a player, box office like I mentioned before. Um, and I just think it's like, you know, 
guys that really dive deep into like his background and his game and watch how he translates on the court, I think he's gonna be even better in the NBA than he was in college. Two. And you. Good. Stand in time. 14. 15. 16. There we go. 17. 18. Switch. Four. Let me get three. Shot, fake, shot. Hey. I'm okay if you probe a little bit. Boom, I'm here. Boom, I'm up. All right. Coming off. Yep. Nice. Whoa. 88. 89. 90. Going through the drills, no defender. Like, I mean, he's solid, but as soon as somebody steps in front of him, it's like a light bulb clicks. <laughs> Good. Don't play with your food. Don't play with your food. That's just more. Get there. Come on. Good, one. I don't know if that was tough, bro. I got up. Sean, what we about to do, bro? Back to the hot. Back to the hot. We got some good work in. Feel me? Get some good eats. Some good eats. Take a shower. Hey, yo. Today, I just want to kind of see how you feel. We're going to do our vert test, a sprint test, and then we'll go upstairs and we'll get our lift in and stuff like that. All right? So all you're going to do is just 15 bodyweight squats, like hands on your hips. And then you're just gonna get five reverse lunges each side. So push your hips back over your heels a little bit more. This way. Remember, you wanna shoot your hips back a little bit. So one of the common problems that basketball players have in general is that they don't actually prepare and warm up for the task at hand. They're so used to the fast pace of the game. They're so used to AU, where they just come in, they start playing. But when you're actually preparing for things like the NBA Combine, you want to ensure that every step is taken care of. A big step out, exhale all of your air, stretch the hip flexor a little bit, rotate, good. Exactly, and then switch, rotate. Yup, five left, five right. Switch, switch, switch. Relax, good. This is a great drill to develop rhythm and help the start of our sprint to your starting position. And just hold a little bit. So here in the combine, the combine's a test, right? So we want to ensure that our technique is locked in to do better for the test. The start of the sprint, as we alluded to before, is super important. The start of the sprint is going to dictate how the rest of the sprint goes. So we can clean up his zero to three steps like we talked about, create stride length, make sure he's generating a lot of power and his trajectory is out perfectly. That's going to set him up really, really well for the end of his sprint where he can just finish at top speed here. So he's going to step in. This is a lot of patience, so there's three beeps. He has to wait, and then he takes off. One, two, three, good. All the way through. That's a good time, that's a good time, looks good. If you just focus on those things and then run as fast as you can, right, with good technique, you'll be fine. All right, so Jay, we're gonna come over here. So one of the tests that they use is called a standing vertical test. This is a jump mat. So this is called Fusion Sport. This is the official technology of the NBA Combine. And so with this, we're gonna get a lot of metrics from him. We're looking at peak force output. We're also gonna look at just max vertical height. And us, that allows us to tailor a program to him to see where does he see fit? 
And then of course, we gotta put him by the rim just to see how high he can get. So I'm just gonna set this up quick and then we'll rock and roll. All right, Jay, you ready? So you're just gonna step in. So all of this data here we can collect right from our phone. So we can build out a complete jump profile right from the smart speed right to our phone here. So same thing, you're just gonna start tall. Yeah, you gotta land right out there. So start tall. You ready? You're good, let's relax. One big jump, right? So whatever rhythm you need, if you wanna go one, two, or if you just wanna go right into it, what you feel comfortable doing. Let's go. Good, relax. Remember, one of the things that a lot of basketball players do when they try to jump is they just try to keep going back to back to back. You wanna take a big break to help kind of restore, reset a little bit. And with power, I'm trying to jump as high as I can. So I need a little bit bigger of a break here. Good, step out. Good. Yep. Yep. Three. Four. So one of the things too, if you guys didn't Five. wonder, or if you were thinking, why does he have the knee tape around here? So this is called Kino Tape. This just helps alleviate tendon pain. My name is Juwan Griffith. I'm the Assistant Performance Director at Varsity House Gym. I've been training at Varsity House since 2010, been working there since 2019. I've had the privilege and honor of working with Jason Preston for over the last five weeks here, just getting him ready for the NBA Combine and literally just making sure that he gets to see his dreams in the near future. So another reason that we use a dumbbell forward press as well, since we know he's benching for the combine, more does not equal better. So doing the same thing more and more times throughout a day doesn't get you better. Sometimes you need to do things that supplement those little muscles, those minor muscles that you may not be thinking about. So that's why we also supplement his main press being the bench press with a forward press right here. As far as like getting ready for the drives, um, you know, and the things that you know, I want to work on, uh, again, just obviously getting the shot consistent, you know, yeah. and, uh, that, that goes for anybody, um, you know, that, that can always get more consistent and better. Uh, so working on that, uh, creating space, um, yeah. you know, for myself, you know, to get looks that I want so I can hit those, um, and then just getting my body right, you know, fle flexibility, stronger, uh, just because, you know, going up to the next level now, these are, these are grown men, you know, high 20s 30s you know so it's just a whole different whole different level of physicality uh, so just being able to prepare for that and so that day one I can come in and you know prove doubters wrong prove to myself um, and really just show that you know I'm built you know for the moment and you know back up everything that uh, or show everybody you know the things uh, I believe you know who I am and by doing that I think uh, a lot of GMs would like to hear that you, you know, you're working on your shot, your game, your creativity, uh, some of the things that people might have had some questions on. And I believe that you could do that. The next step in, in the phase of that is working on your body. I mean, that's another one that everybody's kind of bringing up. And I said, uh, your body looks great. I mean, you're a high school quarterback, uh, free safety, uh, you know, 6'5", you know, 205 pounds, that's a big kid. So I think uh, adding the flexibility, the strength, the IQ, uh, the stamina, you know, making all the great reads. I think that, I mean, at the next level, I think you'd be great, so. Yeah, I think just sharp, sharpening things up, especially. Um, a lot of little things so that when I get there, it's like second nature. You know, I already got it down pat, but getting to where I don't even have to think about it, you know, in those moments. Um, nothing that I want to work on, but, you know, just enjoying the process of it and, you know, taking everything for what it is and continually getting better every day. Yeah, no, I'd agree with that. I mean, just as far as like what people are saying and, you know, like what's in the air, you know, just coming from, you know, a bunch of different people. Yeah. Uh, it's just uh, the shooting, consistent shooting, um, you know, which is ironic because, you know, I've shot it my whole life and I've shot it well. Um, but, you know, the stage that I was on and, you know, the position I was in, I didn't, it didn't call for me to shoot. To shoot a lot. To put up a lot of shots and, uh, really shoot him in volume because I had the best shooter in the country. I had the best big in the country, uh, the best cutter in Joel, and you know we had the best offense in the country. Really, it was beautiful um, basketball. That's what a lot of people yeah, were saying uh, yeah. all year. And I mean, really, really, my focus was 
was controlling the team and controlling and keeping our tempo and pace, you know, and the way we play and, you know, get, getting all, all, my, all my players open. Because, I mean, going in, going into the next level, you know, I'm going to be playing with great players, uh, all-star caliber players, some of the best players in the world. Um, so, I mean, I'm not going to put up every shot, you know, I'm going to go put up 20, 30 shots a game. It's just not realistic. Uh, but getting it to where the shots that I do get up, you know, I know that when it leaves my hand, it's money. So really just getting, uh, getting to that point, uh, getting the handle a little tighter, uh, you know, just so that, you know, I, I don't get ripped in general, but um, just so that, you know, it's tight that you can always, things that you can always do. Well, it's on. the same thing that we've always been working on. You know, you're getting 1,500 shots up a day, you know, uh, at the lowest we might get 1,000, you know. Yeah. You don't get 500 one session, 500 another session. You've been doing this your whole life. So we're always still leading up to a big time tournament where you got about 10,000 shots going into the tournament. Uh, a lot of times we're working on the handles, we're walking around the golf course. A lot of people don't know that, but when we hit the golf course, that's about a mile around the golf course doing the same move. So the handles will be pretty crisp. Yeah. So, I mean, a lot of the things that they're talking about uh, in the pre-draft process, uh, these are things that we've been working on our whole life. So I think that you'll be prepared for that. Yeah. And far as just not, not knowing, you know, of course the future's always in there. You never know what's going to happen. And, no, you don't. Uh, how the lottery balls fall and where, you know, where I end up in the draft. Um, you know, I've, of course, wherever I go, you know, I'm going to be excited. You know, it's a blessing and a dream come true for that. But, you know, if, if a team happens to pass on me, two, three, however many, um, just knowing that you know that's gonna come full circle, you know, and now you gotta you're gonna have to come back and you know game plan for me one night or game plan for me one series, and I wouldn't want to be on the other side of that. Hey, you're sort because. of like Draymond. I mean, uh, Draymond's <laughs> list was like 27 or something like that long. I mean, yours could only be yeah. like four or five, but yeah, I understand. Yeah, if somebody yeah. passed on you, you can keep that little in yeah. internal fire burning. Just, just knowing, knowing what I bring to the table, you know, and my winning mentality, you know, and I've won at every level. You know, I fully intend on bringing that to the next level that I'm about to go into. So uh, just excited for it, man. Excited to see how it goes and, um, and get to it.